Hello, I'm going to talk about how you can get your Clover POS to auto print online orders and have that be done using a, a Squarespace website. So let's say you have a Clover Mini, a Clover Station, or any of these Clover devices that's found on the website clover.com and you want to get online orders and you're trying to find the best way to do that. So here's, here's the option I propose. So let's say here's your website. You have Squarespace and you have a home page. You have about us page. Uh, let me show you what that would look like. So here's an example of a, of a Squarespace website. As you can see, it has the button home, about us, broth and basil, has menu contact us. Your website looks complete, but you're missing one critical feature or button, and that's called order online. And you're wondering, how can I get order online added to my website, to add it to my Squarespace website? So I'm going to propose this option because I think it works very well. Okay, so what you're going to do is first you're going to create an order online page. Okay, Squarespace does not create that for you, but your Clover App Market does. So what you do is you go into Clover App Market and then search for Smart Online Order. Okay, once you search for that, click on it. It's called Smart Online Order. Okay, click on it, press Connect, install it. Once you install it, you press Open. Once you press open, it will take you to the screen so you can create your order online page and you link that order online page to your Squarespace website. How do you do that? You choose option three, option, choose the option where it says Squarespace. Click on this, press next. So for example, if your website is Noodle Town, Type in Noodle Town. That's it. Don't type in a space like I accidentally did, like I just accidentally did. Keep it just like that, and then you'll have a online order page created for you. If you don't, want, if your business name is um, Sam's um, Market or Sam's uh, Restaurant, type in Sam's Restaurant. Okay. Fill out this form. Upload your logo. Upload your header. Once you do all that step, here's what your order online page will look like. It'll look like this. Sorry, this one right here, okay? It will create this page for you based on your Clover inventory. So you're probably wondering how and where did all this stuff come from? This comes from your Clover inventory. As you may, as you may be well aware, your Clover has an inventory app, okay? And it's found right uh, here at the very top, okay? It takes this information and it creates for you an online order page, which you saw right here. And it converts it into a, a user-friendly experience for your customer so that when they come to your website or your order online page, they can buy stuff. Okay, And when they buy stuff, it sends this information back to your Clover to print out. So in other words, you have your Clover as an extension so you can have your order online page on your Squarespace website. So I'm going to show you how to connect that now. Okay, So right now, Here's the Clover again, okay? We're gonna have this information processed and pushed to here, okay? So, but first we have to take this and make it visible to our customers because there's customers out there. We can have this, but if we don't present it or showcase it, they will never know about it. You can link this to Yelp, Facebook, anywhere you want, but in this video, I'm gonna show you how to link it to Squarespace. So here's Squarespace again. And this is the back end. So you log into your Squarespace, the website you already have, or the website you're about to build with Squarespace. Press Edit Site. And then remember when you remember earlier I mentioned that when you fill out this form, it'll create a link for you. When the link is created, you just copy the link. And then what do you do with the link? You go back to your Squarespace, right? Here, Squarespace, um, back end, and then you, and then you add the link. So for example. I'm going to go here and I'm going to press navigation. Okay. So site title manage sections. Actually, so, sorry, not that one. It's actually under uh, page navigation. Oh, it's right here. Sorry, right there. So once you see main navigation, right, that means you're in the right place because right now I have home, I have about, I have broth and basil, I have menu. How do I know I have these? Because it shows it here. This is what I have. But I need to add one more because I want my customers to order online. So that they don't have, they don't have to pick up the phone. I don't have to um, get uh, different. I don't have to get um, phone calls or other ways of getting notified um, about 
new orders that are coming outside my restaurant. I want it to print to my Clover. So how do I do that? I have to add a order online button. And where am I gonna add that? That's up to you. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add it here, okay? Up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that. I'm gonna press this button here, and I'm gonna find something called link. Okay, link. And then it says text here. I'm gonna call it order online. I'm gonna put bold letters or and capital letters. Sorry, not bold, capital. I'm gonna paste the link. What's this link again? Remember I mentioned earlier that when you create the order online page, it'll create, it'll give you a link. This is a link it gave me. It'll give you a different link. And it's a combination of your business name and smart online order. You press save button, okay? And now a link is created for you. You'll notice the link is up here somewhere, right? Order online. So it'll create it for you, it'll add it for you. So right now it's front and center. It's good, it's visible, it's easy to see. I'm gonna go ahead and publish it so we can see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go back to, to the main section here. Let me see if I can add the link anywhere else. Okay, I have my link here. And Squarespace, if it doesn't give you an option to publish it, that means it's done it for you already. So all you do is you go back to your main website, refresh the page, and you should see an order online button now. There's my order online button, okay? Um, and that's how you add that. But if you want to go an extra step, you can do that. You can make your order online button over here too. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and add a button to the right here, okay? So I'm just going to press new section here or new button here. And I'm going to find something called button. So just look for a button. Again, you don't have to do this extra step. I'm just doing it to make my order online page more visible, okay? I mean my order online button more visible and then put the URL here okay and then apply and then as you can see it's kind of low um, but you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna actually leave it here actually let me see if I can move it up so I'm just gonna move it up move it up move it up right let me see if it allows it to go any higher okay so let's see in this case so depending on how you originally built your uh, Squarespace website you can move the buttons where they can go. Let's see where this one goes. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we got the order online button here. Um, actually, it wasn't a bad idea to also have it here. So I'm going to go ahead and make it again down there in case um, customers come here. Uh, you know how marketers are. They advertise their most popular dish. So I'm going to go ahead and make the button one more time just in case they scroll down and they're still thinking about ordering online. I'll give them another reason to do that. Oh, actually, I'll put it down here. So let me do that. All right here, uh, button again. So I'm, uh, remember, I'm, all I'm doing is I'm just putting another button, uh, just to just in case they missed the first button. I'm gonna give them another reason to click on the button here. So when they come to your website, there's the order online. If they don't see it, it's there again. If they don't see it, it's there again. Okay. Um, so that's the reason for doing that. Remember, you don't have to do it like the way I did, but I'm just trying to uh, highlight the button so that way the customers know that, hey, we, sh they, we, we are offering order online ordering and you should uh, check it out. And when they do check it out, um, they'll be able to take them straight to the order online page. So we're gonna go ahead, refresh the page. Okay, let me actually, okay, I had forgot to press save. I'm gonna press save here. And now that I press save, I'm gonna refresh the page. And I should see a button here for me to order online. There we go. So I have three reasons to order online. One here, one here, and also one here. Um, again, you, you can do your Squarespace website the way you want. Uh, in this case, um, it was done this way. Um, so you can do it your own way. But again, when I click on this, look what happens. It's loading uh, to the new order online page. There we go. See, now when the customer orders, what happens again? This order is sent directly to the Clover. It prints out. It's paid for. No buttons to press. No buttons to press. Okay. And uh, you're probably wondering what app that was again. It is Smart Online Order right here. This is what you need to get your Squarespace connected to online ordering, and it's easy to do. Again, if you follow the instructions, and once you set it up, you'll get a video and an article on how to do everything else. Okay. So if you if you follow the steps and watch the videos you'll be ready to go. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day.